Hey folks, Alan Manning, the Hot Rod Hippie here. It's Tuesday once again. The 20th episode of Tooltip Tuesday is coming at you right now. So this week's Tooltip Tuesday, we are talking about slappers. So whether you call them slappers or spoons, these are really useful tools for metal finishing mostly. Now when it comes to body hammers, body hammers are typically only somewhere from around an inch up to inch and three quarter on the diameter of the face of that hammer. A slapper can be various large sizes to cover larger areas when you're working on metal. This is good when you're working on those final areas, when you've got a whole bunch of little tiny dents right next to each other, and you're just trying to finish off and metal finish those last small steps. Now, personally, I have a range of slappers that I use. I have these Martin Tool ones that are the larger one here, which is great for big, heavy stuff. If I got a heavily damaged fender, something like that, that I'm more than likely going to be replacing anyway, but I want to get that metal straightened out a little bit, get the overall general shape to be the way it should be before I go cutting on it because sometimes if you cut out a panel while it has all that stress in it things get distorted in ways that you don't want them to be this one is great for that big heavy material moving because well it is hefty this thing's got some might to it this can be handy to slip in between a fender support and the fender skin and use it as a dolly so you can go ahead and still hammer and dolly without having to separate the fender from its inner structure and save you a lot of time I also have the light dinging spoon from Martin Tools. This one is very light, nice large surface area with a curved face to it, so you're not digging the corners in. But this can be really handy for those very final details when it's just slight ripples in the material, just slight high spots you need to knock down. This thing is great because it is not aggressive and it really fine tunes those final details. These two right here are ones that I have made for myself. The larger one I created out of a leaf spring off of a car. It was laying in the scrap pile, the spring was destroyed, but I cut a section out of it and went ahead and produced this slapper out of that. The other smaller one that I produced, I picked up the material from McMaster car, some spring steel stock, cut strips of it out and just designed out how I wanted the slapper to be. When it came to both of these, to create the shape, the curved shape that allows the hand relief so I don't have to worry about smacking my knuckles when I'm using the slapper, that shape came via a press brake. Being spring steel, it needed to be heated so that it could bend this much. I would heat it up red hot, take it over to the press brake and bend the shape into them that I wanted them to have. And last but not least is the Porter Ferguson one. This is the one that I use the absolute most. This is the one that I go to time and time again for my heavy metal finishing jobs. If I've got a lot of metal finishing to do, you can believe that this thing is on my tool cart ready to go. I had to buy it off eBay because they simply do not make this anymore. However, it still works. It still works beautifully. The material is nice and strong. It holds up to my metal finishing jobs on a regular basis. It spreads the load. It has a nice curved face to it so I don't have to worry about slapping at an odd angle and catching a corner. Something else I often feel comfortable doing when it comes to using slappers is smacking them with another hammer. Namely a ball peen hammer. I do not ever strike another tool with my body hammers, but if I'm trying to work an area and I just feel like I need to crisp up some detail against a, a table or an anvil, I can strike on this with a ball peen hammer, strike on it when it's laid flat on a piece of material, and kind of spread that load out so I know that I'm getting the maximum face contact from the slapper on the material. Quite simply, I use slappers. I find them very useful. I recommend giving them a try, maybe picking up that old leaf spring and cutting one out for yourself to give it a go, see how you like it. That was where I started. I made this one and then I started working my way up from there. All right, folks, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, go ahead and drop it a like. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of slappers? Do you find them useful? Do you make use of them? Do you not have any at all? Is this the first you've heard of them? Let me know what you're thinking. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. Thanks for coming around, folks.